Lights Out is directed by David F. Sandberg, I think I got that name right, and is about an entity that lurks in the dark, and the main character's mother, who had an association with this entity in the past, and there's one catch with this thing. It can only be hurt by the lights. So, essentially, yeah, it stays in the dark, it lurks in the dark, and there's, that's our movie, essentially. In a, in a nutshell, I kind of explained it in a more simpler way. But yeah. Uh, Lights Out was a movie I was actually really looking forward to, mainly because, or two reasons actually. James Wan is a producer, and um, David S. Sandberg's original short film uh, was actually really got under my skin. I really liked that short. Um, the first time I saw it, I... I mean, it's still effective when you watch it again, but it's not as effective as, as that first time, if you know what I mean. So I was looking forward to Lights Out. Uh, the concept is genius. I love the premise of this movie. And does this movie deliver? I actually do think it really does. I actually really, really like this movie. I was actually somewhat surprised. Like, I knew I'd probably like it. I just didn't think it'd be, like, really good. And it is, like, it does follow some of the horror cliches. It isn't necessarily a scary movie, but it's a creepy movie. It's very creepy in this atmosphere. Um, yeah, it builds great atmosphere. Uh, the tension is definitely there. The imagery is really creepy. This entity, um, I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'll just say it was very creepy. I really liked the scenes um, in the dark that took place in the dark because it always... It just winds up that tension every time the lights go out. And that's what I like the most about this movie. Uh, the, all the tension building with, when the lights go out. And and it, they use it to a great effect. It has brilliant pacing, too. I mean, it's very short, but it's very well paced. And I don't know, it's just a very creepy movie overall. Like, I enjoyed this movie more than I had expected to. Um, Teresa Palmer is really good in the movie, actually. She doesn't do the best movies ever, so seeing her in a good role is, well, good. For, I, that's all I can really say. She's a capable um, lead. She's not dumb. She's actually resourceful. That's what I like the most about her. Along with um, Maria Bello, I think, yeah, I think I got the name right, uh, who plays the mom. I know she's a, uh, she's, decently well-known actress, but she's really good in this movie. She really sells this mental illness type thing, which is another thing I'm going to um, go with or explain in this movie. This movie has some really mature themes about like, mental illness and even like sibling bonding. There's definitely some nice themes in the movie that actually worked really well, and the direction is pretty solid here from Sandberg. Um, it, for problems, as I said, it isn't necessarily a scary movie, nothing got under my skin, like in that original short, but it is a creepy movie for sure, it has its horror cliches, um, but there's never false jump scares, it actually, the most impressive thing I, th I actually think about this movie is how there's only a use of one jump scare in the whole movie, for one it's not false, and it's actually effective most every time, it actually works, that's, the, that's what I could really say about Lights Out, it's a very fun movie as well, very well paced, a very uh, or great premise, I guess I should say, uh, with really good performances and capable leads who are actually resourceful. I liked them. So I'm going to give Lights Out a B+. Plus. It <clears throat> actually was a little better than the trailers made out to be. I, as I said, I thought it would be a fun movie. It is. It's, it's a very fun movie, but it also has some nice mature themes to it as well that I appreciated. So, yeah. So that's my review of Lights Out um, for future reviews, I'm not sure, because I've already seen Ghostbusters, I had the review up, so, this weekend, possibly The Infiltrator, maybe, I don't know, maybe, and next week, we got Star Trek Beyond, and Ice Age Collision Course, and, well, Lights Out comes out next week, but, yeah, you, you get my point there, but yeah, so, that's my review for Lights Out, so, 